Yeah, and and it's interesting to see how uh, how that pans out. But there's some some point I wanted to make about tech guys mm. because also I, I'm sure if if tech guys really relate to this, there are so many solutions that can come out of this. Mm-hmm. And there's this uh, analogy of tech bro. You know what the mm-hmm. tech bro is? No. So you get a job, maybe um, you now there's Microsoft around, there's mm. Google, mm. Uh, there, there's been Andela, mm. there's some remote work. Mm. And you can be paid handsomely, mm. if you know what I mean. And I've used that handsomely mm. <laughs> in quotes. Okay. So it becomes also again confusing if someone who shows interest in you, mm. are they real or is it because of the paycheck? Ah, okay. So this is these are the old apps, right? Dating apps where you had to pay to mm. be a member. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I'm saying now this is in real life. Ah, okay. In oh. real life. Whereby you get, you are good in software engineering. Mm-hmm. You are getting a good paycheck. I'm with and, you now. Oh, you have a status And the tech now. guys, you tech guys, by the are the coolest guys to, to do. Like but <laughs> they're also the busiest. Really? <laughs> they're the busiest. Well, you know, I'm being right? biased again. Of course they do. Yes, cool. <laughs> let me explain this. So tech guys, most of the time they're coding. Like 18 hours, 16 hours a day to be really good. And it's quite addictive. And they don't have much time for, you know, dating. dating. Ladies, no, tech guys uh, are married to their jobs. Exactly. Oh, no, no, no. Especially to coding. Those are uh, But pay. at some point, they want to, like, you know, have someone. They come like out of the partner. cage. But they're also <laughs> choosy, right? Mm. But mm. they're human, so they want to have fun. And oh, they I, wanna did, I, did, I didn't know about the choosy. Bit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> because ah. if you're in a relationship with someone who really doesn't understand you, it's mm. going to be really hard. Yeah, that's true. Because you're on the computer like 16 hours straight yeah, mm-hmm. that's I not so good for a lady i i really, I, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I actually said um it's uh it's the, it's the mistress in mm, their lives and mm. you have to accept it mm. now yes. and this is personal <laughs> because there's one specific community manager uh community member who actually committed suicide and this is what happened mm, okay um, so he was really good at C and uh, any developer listening at this if you're really good at C you are really good and one day he just went to work. He had a partner. And when he came back, he found that he had moved without his knowledge and he didn't know where he moved to, if you know what I mean. Mm. So <laughs> they switched houses so <laughs> without his knowledge. So the partner s- swept everything. All right? Number one, that was quite depressing because maybe he trusted this lady. Oh, no. He knew this. If you leave someone in your house, you trust them, right? Yeah. And he knew she did it on purpose or no? Was it I have accident? no idea, to be honest. Okay. But it was quite devastating. Mm. And all of a sudden, this gentleman did not recover from that. Oh my God. And he was found dead somewhere, committed suicide. Okay. So, and, and this is actually something that is really cropping up even in the tech industry, right? Whereby you have a good paycheck mm. and you don't know. So even some ladies might take advantage and say you raped. Mm. And there is now that. So people become afraid even to like engage ladies and, mm. and, and sometimes they're like, you know what, I'm, I'm better single than with someone. And this is not... Mm. If you look so at people the, are single, techie guys are single just out of fear? Majority of them. Yeah, and it's, yeah that it's makes so, sense. It's not cool because if the society is that unbalanced, a lot of things can happen. Rape can happen. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Uh, spread of diseases. Mm. A depression or someone wiping like, take, like yeah. yes but just to respond to that so f- one mm-hmm. when someone commits suicide mm. they've been thinking about it for a very long time okay by the time they do it mm. they've been thinking about it for years mm. so i don't know this guy i don't know his situation so yes. I can't, i'm not gonna speak on that specific but usually the, when someone commits suicide it's, they've been thinking about it for a very long time mm. And sometimes you will commit suicide over the most... When you look at it as a, an outside person, mm. what, you committed suicide just because your delivery didn't come on time? It's, it's because they reached... <laughs> and, it, and it really has happened. Yeah, yeah. It, it was like a... So that's just so a It was trigger. something that pushed... So this person was already on the edge. So that was a trigger. They, they were just pushed out of the edge now. Mm. It was like, I'm done. Mm. And sometimes it needs... You know how like... A, you're in, a, you're in a very toxic relationship sometime mm. and you have the biggest fights and then one day you break up over the fork that mm. broke. Do you see what I mean? It's like, mm. that's, what you, that's what happened. So this guy, 
in in a norm someone who wasn't i mean this sounds like someone who was in, in depression for a very long time yes yes to 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 do this mm. um so he this is someone who needed help for a very long time very yes. depressed yes this was just the last straw it was like i'm done actually it gave him a reason to leave and it's a beautiful uh, uh, like thinking you've brought into it because yeah. it's it's been some time like seven, eight years yeah. um yeah. uh I've been thinking about it and even when I see young guys who mm. are getting into court mm. and the approach mm. to ladies mm. and even how they they talk about it mm. and the confusion and mm. every other guy they're saying you know now ladies it's not about love it's about money I you but see it's the, because the it's context. the conditioning it's yes. the conditioning yes yes men have been conditioned to uh, marry uh, or be with a woman they can control mm. and have power over money mm. and she's been told make sure you have a man with money who can overpower mm. you mm. even if she reaches you for money if that's what she wants, she still doesn't have power because mm. you still control the money mm. that's what I'm always saying to women have your own money it doesn't matter how much it is yes. have your own money because if someone is because there's always there's always someone when someone has one power over you in the relationship is never going to be healthy yes So it's the conditioning again. We need to start reframing. Yes. Our minds. Yes. Again. But also uh, uh when you keep bringing up and I'm and, and I think again in the tech space, you know, tech CEOs, you know when you're doing training for your staff, mm. I think training around healthy relationships is so important. I think Very that has important. to be important. I think Very AT important. has to organize. Yeah. I'll put that as my one of my recommendations. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think it's needed because a lot of us is like and and and, and you know what this comes back to? We all want to be loved. Everyone. We all want to be loved. They say love be, is the answer. <laughs> we, we love is the answer. Like we want to be cuddled mm. when, we come, when you come out of your coding. Mm. We want someone to hug you yes, and yes. just love on you yes. and just accepts you for who you yes, are. Yes, yes, yes. And it's as it's important to find that person. Mm. But you know also what we do? One thing I learned about my healing, mm. we attract our own energy. Is that the case? When you're constantly in a negative state of mind, worried about everything, you attract the same people. Ah. Uh. So I always say to people like and I know from my own experience when I was dating the same people I had to like take a step back mm. and I had to I had to talk to myself as one of my clients. Mm. What would you tell this client? Mm. I would have said Leila there's a pattern here you're dating the same mm. people who are not good for you. So I took a sabbatical for a bit. Mm-hmm. Relationships. Mm. How many years? Uh so my last relationship was 2016. Mm. It's like six years. Nearly said, yeah. So Sam is my that was my serious proper serious uh, again. I genuine because I really had to take care of myself. I mm. had to learn. I had to reprogram myself as a woman and change the mindset. Change your, of myself, yeah. like and really like a lot of women go into a relationship always trying to satisfy the man. Mm. The, a lot of men are always like, "Oh my god, I met this chick. She was so great that she turned crazy." No, because you know why? Mm. <laughs> She's been put in the front the whole time mm. where she's just looking after you and it was all about you and then now you when she gets tired mm. now you're thinking oh my gosh she's gone crazy she's not the same <laughs> person anymore so as a woman yes i had to i wanted to be i didn't want to be in a relationship again mm. until i knew mm. i can i can voice what i don't like yes what i like yes. what i don't want what i can tolerate what i can yes. work with yes be very clear from day one like mm. you don't and it's not with the uh, Let's dress up and go and have a drink or coffee when the caffeine kicks in you're in a good mood. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. This is me at my most vulnerable like yes. No makeup on. What this, you see is what you get. This is this is it. <laughs> <laughs> you and, know? And that's quite fascinating if you think about Because it. Because then if let's both meet mm. the real people. Mm. But I had to go and relearn. So these that women you're describing this guy both need there needs to be an intervention. Reality. Because she has been conditioned. She has been conditioned. You are you haven't made it in life unless a man's looking after you financially. That's the conditioning. Yes. So she feels like a failure if you don't have money. She's can you imagine you not having money becomes her failure. Yeah. That's how she's been conditioned. She's not focusing on herself. It's not herself. There you go. That's the women. <laughs> I don't assume it's you we're talking about. Uh. <laughs> Your friend you're asking this for has well, been Well, I'm not uh, dead. <laughs> Yeah, so it's one but, sample, but, but yeah. we've all been there. Yeah. We've all been there. No, I mean, but to be we've honest, there. there are a couple of when um I'm sure maybe most most Nairobi, especially in Nairobi, mm-hmm. you move without your your consent uh, a lot, a lot. Uh, you 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 don't you disagree or maybe someone is not happy. Mm. 
And then someone moves. So you have to like reconcile or maybe move move on and, and, and you know, look at it. Mm. Okay. Cheers. So at the end of the day, uh, when you look at it uh, in that aspect, mm-hmm. there's something else that actually comes into my mind mm. uh, about your achievements again. Mm. Daughters of Eve. off record a bit uh yes yes i don't want to talk about looks of eve okay okay so there was fine. a whole, that's yeah, fine yeah. let's talk about dahlia project dahlia or the ah, girl generation that's where i was Those going the, next because i want okay. to say no let's okay. not mention looks okay. of eve. i'll tell yeah. you that outside <laughs> <laughs> no worries yeah, yep. yes okay dahlia project so dahlia project was my counseling service mm. that i set up that i mentioned earlier yes so dahlia we now see women online all over the world but mm. it was set up in london originally yes so anyway covid was great we can have women online mm. and but it was uh, as i said earlier it was i was questioned and like ridiculed like oh my god what's this girl trying to do with the world of therapy to the point where now it's actually recognized as one of the best practice by the uk government mm-hmm. so it's recognized to, so now where it was based so it's based in seven maternity wards in the UK and it's growing. Amazing. And it has nothing to do with me now. Oh. I, 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 there's a team that runs it. Ah, oh, nice. I, I, for me, because, because it was never about me. I designed it for something that I needed at the time. Yes. But I recognized it's, it's and, I, and I outsourced it to everybody. Mm. I said, if there's a template, use it. So now I get, you know, I get a lot of uh, therapists who tell me they use the training pack. Yes. Uh, the outline. And this because I want the women, I want as many women to access the Dali project. Yes. So that's what da- the Dali project is. And it's one of my proudest, uh, 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 I guess, work that I've developed over the years. Yes. Because yes. at the time, it was, it was non existent, it didn't exist at all. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Amazing stuff. So it's scalable. Oh, it's scalable. And, and, and I don't even know, I, I, I need to find out at some point where it went. <laughs> but I love the yeah. fact that it's become that free. Ah, oh, nice. You know, that nice. it's uh, other therapists are now looking after the clinic. But there's six other clinics in the maternity wards. Yes. Oh, look, I don't even know who those people are who have, who have been hired. Yes. And that's okay. Mm. See, this is that was part of me loving myself. Yes. I didn't want to get attached to it like mm. that. Because sometimes, you know, when you start a project or have a startup, mm. there's a sense of like, it's your thing. Mm, it's my baby. It's my baby. Oh, and, and let me tell you, I had those conversations mm. with my therapist. Yes. And actually, my baby's grown up. We went, we went through the teenage mm. phase. Mm. They now, can visit now, if they want. Now they're, a, they're, they're an adult. They're okay. They're an adult and yeah. they function. They're growing very well. They, mm. If they want to contact me and talk to me as mm. an advisor, mm. perfect. Nice. That's a, yeah. a good, a good, a good way of looking yeah, at yeah. it. And actually, if you go on, uh, like, if, if if hey, a therapist logs into this podcast, mm. they can go on the Dali Project website and the, the whole template is there. And I would absolutely recommend mm. use it. Create your yeah, own one. Yeah, yeah. You don't have, even have to call it. So Dali. you don't just need to like thing. contact Dalia. No, just no, no, no. I outsourced it from day one. Like for me, it's like everybody free. Take mm. it. <laughs> Nice, nice. Yeah, take it. And that's 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 quite a good way of looking at it because now it can be scaled to Absolutely. any place. Exactly. Now, um, we have to talk about this mm. as we as we come to to mm. conclusion. Yeah. You are rector. How did that hey. go? How did that come <laughs> about? And, and not only a rector, but to one of the oldest universities in the world. Yeah. Right. Uh, that is St Andrews in UK. And in uh, in my high school, the head of uh, the school was not principal; it was a rector. Mm-hmm. So when I had hey, Leila mm-hmm. Hussein is a rector, yes. And actually, someone insisted on that more than anything. That's how I got to know you. Ah, that okay. was like the first statement. Ah, okay. Because I asked, you know, who you know, is Leila? And I was like, Africans, we love academics. Rector. We like academia. That's how we've been conditioned again. I, we like academia. Is I checked on. out the university. And I was like, okay. Ah. How is that? How? how so I'll tell you how that came about. Feet. So yeah. um, so with my work, I, I had the privilege, again, of speaking in what, some of the biggest conferences. Mm. I spoke, Guys, I lectured. Just pause there. Mm. She has spoken to Oxford, Cambridge. You know, name them. All the <laughs> Ivy League. So I, I was mm. privileged to, le- to be a guest lecturer at mm. Oxford, Cambridge, Penn University, mm. Harvard, mm. Columbia. Mm. I still don't remember. I need to there go back. There you have it. <laughs> so that's some of the few. Yes. And, and then, obviously, the previous rector is actually a very good friend of mine. Yes. Uh, um, who invited me as a speaker at mm. St. Andrews. Mm. So I was just speaking about my work, and, and they wanted to uh, screen my documentary at the time. Yes. 
So that's where I went. Then I, be, I was invited again. So the students really wanted to, for me to come. Yes. And didn't realize I was... I, I, by the way, I never, I never even heard of the word rector. Mm. Thought, even when he invited me, I didn't pay attention to his title. Mm. I knew he was doing something with the university, mm. but I didn't actually pay attention to the title rector. Yes, yes. Anyway, then during COVID, early, early stage of COVID, I get contacted by the, the students. There's, yes. And by the way, these students are the most engaging, really they don't give up. Yes. They sent me, I think, over 100 emails and tweets what? and Instagram. They were like, you're going to have to talk to us. And I said, one day, I was like, oh my God. Because, you know, this is the days when we're online. I'm already yes, tired. Yes, yes, yes. So I got on the phone call Scott. just to break yeah. it down to them slowly. I'm not doing this. Yeah, Kevin syndrome. I'm not doing this. And then when I saw, they reminded me of me when I was their age. Like, mm. I, was, I was hungry to change the system. Yes. They said to me, we want to change this very elite mm. university. Yes. And, we, and they said, the actual words are, you fuck up systems. Ah. We need someone who fucks up systems yes. and is not going to apologize. Yes. And I was like, okay, great, let's do it. This, this and I said, but guys, I'm moving to Kenya for work. Like, yes. I won't be there. And they're like, no, everything's online. Yes. We'll accommodate you. Yes. And again, this is, one, this is part of my self-love again. Mm. I was not going to compromise my How well-being. How you operate because of for, this? For, for, for St. Andrews. See, this is where you go with your self-love. Yes. Because so you, you are very clear that... Very clear. Yo, you, I was you ready need, to let go. I'll do it, but... I, I knew who <laughs> St. Andrews were. I know Kate Middleton and Prince William went there. Like, I know the people that went to that place. But I, was, I went on that call mm. with the intention of I'm not going to compromise my well-being for anybody. Yes, yes. And it means I'm going to have to let go of St. Andrews mm. being the right potential. And you have, to, you have to run like a party. Mm. So different student groups, Yes. they get... So I had to run against yes. two other people. Yes. One of them, her name is Fiona Hill, amazing. To campaign? To campaign. You have to run oh. like an actual party. And I was like, oh my so God, this I don't just do added this. to you. No, no, no. They have to vote. There's a voting system. Oh my so goodness. I thought, oh my God, this is not my thing. Oh, this shit. But they were so convincing. So I, so I was very, like, so we had to build. So there was that drive, like, oh, if you to, run, we're going to We had to create vote. a manifesto. Uh, so the manifesto had to, had to be aligned with my maybe, maybe God is speaking to you. So, so it was, act, <laughs> for, for me, it was access yes. and well-being. It was yes. very key to me. Because for me, a lot of students can't, I'm not, I, I went to the poorest part mm. of, like, when I went to college, it wasn't like, oh my God, it's the best college. Mm. It was like, hey girl, you got in. Just don't get killed, don't get stabbed, <laughs> don't get into drugs. That yes. was my advice for my parents when I went to college. Yes. Like, because, that, because I didn't have such access. So I wanted kids who grew up where I grew up in London to mm. have access to St. Andrews. So mm. to me, that was very key. Mm. So that was my manifesto. Because a lot of the houses around St. Andrews are for millionaires. So even if you got in with your you know, academic achievements, you can't afford yeah, to live nobody. there. You can't, well, you can't even afford to live there. So we had to address... So during the campaign, I found out, oh yeah, a journalist contacted me. I'm like, why does a journalist want to talk to me? Rectorship has been a big thing. Like, what is, it's not. The journalist said, oh, if you win, you'll be the first black woman to hold this position. I was what? like, oh shit. I was like, what? oh no. I didn't know. That somehow skipped. And the students purposely didn't tell me this. They thought I was going to be like freaking out and not do it. Yes. They're like, yeah, we didn't tell you. We didn't want that kind of pressure on you. Mm. But that, this one, I'm in the middle of all of it. Mm. Um, so I didn't just win. I think I was told I had the most votes ever mm, mm. in the history of rectorship. I think they never had someone what? who got 45% of the votes. What? So that proved, imagine, so this is how much you mess up with systems. Yes. A black woman got white kids to vote for her the most. It's never happened before. That's not a small feat. Not, no, it wasn't. It was literally the majority of the students voted, yes. voted for me. Yes. Uh, and, and what I did, I befriended one of my supposed to be you know, enemies, you ah, know, other opposition. Yeah, that's where we started Fiona, that. Fiona Hill is a, yeah. an amazing woman who, you know, she went to San Andrews, the other two went to San Andrews, and they went to San Andrews. She is, um, uh, uh, she was one of the, uh, 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 she works in pu uh, public uh, policy. She's one of the people that nearly impeached Donald mm, Trump. She mm. has a big profile. What? But her work, she comes from a working class background in the UK, meaning also she came, she grew up in similar, similar areas to me. Mm. So we partnered very quickly. I said, listen, if you win, so even the way we did the we did the debates, mm. it was not toxic. Mm. Her and I, we spoke to each other outside of everybody. Yes, I said to her, "Listen, if you win, I'm going to support you." Because uh. if you win, so our debates was very friendly. Everyone's uh. like, "What's going on?" So again, messing up the system. Debates <laughs> with an opposition doesn't mean you have to scream yeah. and shout and make put and them down. Everybody was hurt. Like, they were shocked. 
they're like, Fiona, you did such a great job. Can you maybe share? Mm. So maybe I can bring my skills to this. Yes, yes, yes. And now she's written a book about access and she talks about how difficult that was. For so for me, it's really important. So that role at St. Andrews, it, it was scary. Yeah. I am now chairing the board of yeah. St. Andrews. Yeah. 35 ch- board members. I'm the only black person. Your voice is hard. And I'm the only black person. I'm chairing 35 white people. It means a lot. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's a, it's a very important role and I'm trying to change one of their governance at the moment which has never been changed ever. Wow. <laughs> and wow. It, it, it is it, it is causing a lot of tension and anxiety and but I'm slowly guiding them in a very loving way. I'm like, guys, there has to be a revolution at some point in any organization. Yes. This is the time to yes. do that. Yes. Um, so really, it's been a... And, and by the way, really, San Andreas is one of the best activist students I've ever met in my life. Yes. Really, and it's because they have privilege. They're privileged students, so they have time to fight. Mm. You know, they have food they eat. <laughs> they, <laughs> I said, this is what privilege looks like. Yes. And I, when I see the students, I always say, your fight is needed. Because yes. there are people who don't have time to fight. Yes. So you guys have to fight. <laughs> like, yes, yes. Over and over again. What? Yeah. So Leila, when, when you sit and think about all this, mm. just know one thing. Mm. You are so powerful. So powerful. Oh, and um, we can't wait to see what you achieve, with, you know, with the rectorship, the girl child, and keep pushing. Because, and we got you. I can say this. Mm. We got your back in terms Thank of um, tech. If yeah. you need anything, I, I know guys heard about um, you know the app that actually can you know mm. show you the laws that support mm. the girl child, mm. the accessibility, the transparency, the conversations. Mm. And uh, I take your challenge. So I'll try to host a couple of Thank tech you. tech ladies so that they can speak up and be heard. Yeah, let's create a safe space for women yes, to come. Yes, and yes, men yes. men play a big role in making yes. sure that happens. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, so thank you so much, Leila. Okay. And it was an honor to like have this conversation because at the end of the day, it's not just about Impact Masters Media. Mm-hmm. It's about what can we do to move ahead of the pack. Thank you so much. As a continent. Absolutely. And as a community too. As a community. Yeah. And because there's so much going on in the world and we have to step up. Hey, love is the answer. Love is the answer. There you so go. thank you so much <laughs> and have a good a good day wherever you are good day good morning good evening and uh it's an amazing amazing conversation that you're having here she was truly <laughs> michael kemadi or you can call me mk thank you so much for joining us until next time see you